What's up guys and welcome back to another DeFiZilla video and today I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and borrow MIM using the abracadabra.finance protocol. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Now to clarify uh, at the beginning, uh, in this tutorial I am going to be uh, borrowing uh, on the Avalanche network uh, using AVAX as my collateral. Now, Abracadabra does support a variety of different networks uh, and thus a variety of different uh, tokens uh, to use as collateral. Those uh, processes are all roughly the same as what I'm going to do today. I've just chosen uh, Avalanche and AVAX as my example because it's the easiest to show to you. Uh, but for all these other networks and tokens, these steps will be roughly the same other than you will be selecting that network and that desired token. So, like all of these videos that are based on decentralized finance, we're going to have to start off with getting a MetaMask wallet uh, set up and ready, which uh, I've already made a video tutorial on, so go check that in the uh, that link in the video description. Um, but you are going to need to set up a MetaMask wallet in order to be able to use all of these websites and protocols. Uh, so, if you haven't already, please go ahead and check out that video. Uh, I'll leave a link to this website uh, and to the video that I made the tutorial on down below you don't want to use my tutorial use someone else's tutorial the important thing is you have a metamask wallet uh, installed on your browser uh, so please pause the video and go do that if you haven't already uh, but if you have got a wallet set up already uh, great we can go ahead and get started so hopefully you've got your metamask wallet set up uh, and we're gonna have to start off with setting it to the avalanche network if you haven't already uh, if you have, great, skip this step. Uh, if not, we can go ahead and add that. So go to a tab and just type in uh, Avalanche Network MetaMask. And here you can see the support.avax.network had I set up MetaMask on Avalanche. And you want to scroll down to these specific uh, five key details. Click your MetaMask wallet and click on the uh, network selection at the top and then you're going to click add network now as you can see here you need to type in your network name your rpc url your chain id your currency symbol and your block explorer all of which can be found here network name rpc url chain id symbol and explorer so copy and paste all of these in to this page here click save and you should go ahead and find that the Avalanche network is either up here at the top in your MetaMask wallet, or you can select this and select it from the list. So go ahead and quickly add the Avalanche network mainnet, uh, make sure it is the mainnet, uh, to your MetaMask wallet. Uh, so hopefully by this point you should have a MetaMask wallet and you should have the Avalanche mainnet set up on that MetaMask wallet. If you've gone ahead and done that, we have to now start uh, actually adding funds to this wallet. Now, you can do that whatever way you want, uh, from whatever exchange you want. Uh, I personally use crypto.com. You can use other centralized exchanges, or you can go ahead and transfer it from a different wallet if you've got some Aval AVAX uh, in that wallet. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be using AVAX. For now, I'm going to show you how to do it using Binance because it's a easy option to show you using uh, a PC. Uh, so first of all, you're going to want to type in AVAX and you're going to want to buy some. Uh, this can either be done through spending in fiat currency or you can go ahead and convert uh, crypto into AVAX. But make sure you've got some Avalanche uh, in your Binance wallet. We're then going to click withdraw and it's going to bring up all of these options. Up here you can see we have selected AVAX, which is the coin we're sending. And we can go ahead and paste our address. Now, your address will be found in your MetaMask wallet, here where it says account uh, one, in my case. You can click it and then go ahead and paste it into the address box. This is the important thing with the Avalanche network. You want to make sure you select AVAX C chain. Do not select BSC, Binance Smart Chain. Do not select AVAX. If you do select either of these options or any other option that your exchange provides, your funds will not hit your wallet. This is all done on the Avalanche C chain. So please make sure to select the Avalanche C chain. So 
double checking your address is correct and you have the network set to the Avalanche C chain, you can now go ahead and select the amount you want to withdraw. I've already gone ahead and done this. As you can see, I have AVAX already in my wallet. Uh, but if you haven't, set your amount and go ahead and quick withdraw. AVAX is a very, very quick network. So within a couple of minutes, you should see your AVAX balance in MetaMask. Go ahead and update with your funds. So go ahead, withdraw it and wait for your funds to update. That is the next step. Once you've gone ahead and had these funds update, uh, you can go ahead and uh, resume the video and we can continue. So the next step is to finally actually make our way over to abracadabra.money. Uh, what this video is entire based upon. This website lets you go ahead and uh, add collateral to it in order to borrow from that collateral. So you get to borrow money without having to uh, sell off your original position. Reason I am doing this in this case is because I am bullish on Avalanche and want to hold it for the long term. So I'm not planning on selling it, so I might as well lock it up so I can borrow some tokens uh, using that collateral in order to go ahead and earn rewards on that. First thing you want to do up at the top here, click connect and connect your MetaMask wallet. Mine's already done, so you can see my uh, address up there. Here, we can go ahead and select on network. As you can see, there's a few options. We've got Ethereum network, Binance Smart Chain, Phantom, AVAX, AETH, and the Matic network. For this example, we're gonna use Avalanche. As I said, different networks. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Avalanche. We're now gonna head over to the Borrow tab. And this is where we can go ahead and choose our collateral pair. So here, we're gonna be selecting the AVAX uh, pair which allows us to use Avalanche as collateral, uh, but they also have an AVAX MIM uh, Trader Joe liquidity pool you can use, AVAX USDCE, AVAX USDTE, Wrapped Memo, and XJO. Make sure in the MIMS left to borrow stage, there is enough for you to borrow. The Wrapped Memo is extremely popular because you still earn staking rewards while you're borrowing uh, and adding the collateral which means lots of people want to do it. So at the moment, there is no more MIM left to borrow. So you will have to check, uh, come back and check, uh, or use the official Discord uh, for uh, Abracadabra in order to be notified when they add more MIM to this pool. Because currently, I would not be able to get borrow anything because there's no MIMs left to borrow. But for this example, uh, I'm going to be using AVAX. Um, Reason being, it's a little less volatile, so less likely to be liquidated. And as you can see, there is plenty of MIMS left to borrow. So we're gonna click on this. Here we have our general dashboard. As you can see, I've already got some collateral AVAX, the value of that, how much I've already borrowed, and the price of AVAX uh, that I'll be liquidated at, which means my collateral will be sold to cover my loan. Um, we have two tabs, the borrow tab, which is where you go ahead and borrow money, and the repay tab where you go ahead and repay this. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually borrow some money. As you can see here, it's currently set to wrapped AVAX. Now we can go ahead and wrap it, or we could just select use AVAX and go ahead and let them wrap it for us, which is what we're gonna do. So select use AVAX at the top. Now we're not gonna go ahead and select max because we need some AVAX left in our wallet in order to go ahead and pay the fees, uh, which is very important. So my rule of thumb is I always leave 0 0.05 AVAX in my wallet for fees. That's my rule of thumb. You guys can do what you feel comfortable with, but that is what has always served me well and been enough for me to do my general transactions without having to top back up. So I'm going to go ahead and simply use an old-fashioned calculator to calculate. Uh, I might as well go ahead and do this on my computer. So you can see, I'm gonna use a calculator. So I've got 0 0.2558, and I wanna subtract 0 0.05. So I'm gonna be locking up today 0 0.2058. So I'm gonna go ahead and type this in, 2058. That is how much AVAX I'll be locking up. Next, you're gonna head and select your liquidation price. Now with this pool, it allows all the way up to 75%. Personally, I use 25%, which means you're borrowing 20% uh, 
or 25% of the value that you have locked up. So this 0.2 AVAX is worth roughly $20. It's a little bit more, which means if I borrow 25% of that, I get 5.79 MIM, which means 5.79 US dollars. This 25% also means that the my uh, collateral has to drop by 75% before they go ahead and sell it. If I was to raise that liquidation price, I would be able to borrow more MIM, but as you can see, the token would also have to fall less before it gets liquidated. Again, 70%, we borrow more, but that price goes ahead and increases, which of course we don't, personally, I don't want to take the risk. I always set it to 25%. Reason being, still lets me go ahead and borrow. I personally feel like this is enough uh, to earn some okay rewards on. And the chances of AVAX falling 75% is unlikely. It's possible, you have to know the risk you're taking, but it's unlikely. So that's why in this example, I'm gonna set it to 25% for my 0.2 AVAX. Again, your values are gonna be different based on how much you want to lock up and how comfortable you are uh, with the price of that token. Now I'm going to go ahead and also click update price it. Basically you pay a very small uh, gas fee uh, on the Avalanche network. It is extremely, extremely low and for that they'll keep your collateral value up to date. So we've set the amount we want to lock up, we've set the amount we want to borrow on, so we're going to click add collateral and borrow. Now there's going to be two transactions here. The first one is going to be the transaction to go ahead and actually wrap the token. We're going to go ahead and confirm that. And it might actually go ahead and wrap and add the collateral in the same transaction. But we're now going to go and go up here. Yeah, it's now cooking, which basically means wrapping our tokens. And we are wrapped. Now we can go ahead and click add collateral and borrow. Oh, sometimes you've got to go ahead and refresh the page, which I'll do. Uh, refresh. Hey, and as you can see, we our collateral value has updated uh, in amount and in value. Our min borrowed amount has increased, uh, which is great. Uh, now, one thing you are going to want to do, which I didn't mention, up here there's the little MIM. Uh, logo, uh, which is the token you're going ahead and actually borrowing using your collateral. Click it and it will allow you to add the token to your MetaMask wallet. This is extremely important because even after you've borrowed, if you've not added the token to your wallet, you won't be able to see it. Click add token. Now if we go into our MetaMask wallet and we select assets, you see that we have MIM in our wallet roughly equal to the amount, or should be exactly equal as what was here, uh, where it said borrow MIM. Now this is basically up to you to decide what you want to do with your MIM. Uh, you could keep it as MIM, <laughs> there isn't much of a point. Uh, my bet would be to go to Trade and Joe, links down below, and under the Trade fit fit function you can select uh, from as MIM, and you can go ahead and trade it into anything you can trade it into uh, Joe and stake Joe on Trader Joe uh, what I tend to do is trade it into time and stake time or you can go straight to the lend protocol tab and deposit it in Trader Joe and earn 13% on stablecoin it's a relatively safe way you know you have to pay your back your investment and your collateral won't or your your borrowed amount won't fall in value do what you want with it um, but this is how you go ahead and actually acquire those MIM. Now, what if you want to go ahead and actually get your collateral, uh, collateral back? Because currently it's locked up. You don't have access to it. Where it says MIM borrowed, that's the amount you've got to pay back to get all of your collateral back. You do that by also going to borrow and clicking the collateral token that you went ahead and used. In this case, AVAX. Before we use the borrow tab, now we're going to use the repay tab, which allows us to repay MIM to remove collateral. So we're going to go ahead and because I don't, this is just an example, I'm going to hit max. I'm going to go ahead and sell all of my uh, collateral 
for 0 0.82 uh, wrapped AVAX, uh, which is the current conversion rate for wrapped AVAX at the moment. Um, oh, no, we don't want to deleverage. That's fine. Uh, we've got operate price selected. We've selected the amount we want to repay. This isn't going to be all of it. And we click remove collateral and repay, just like we did when we went ahead and borrowed. Click confirm. Wait for the transaction to go through. It's usually not too long. It's under usually 30 seconds, depending on how congested the network is. There we go. Go ahead and refresh. And you can see uh, our collateral deposited has dropped. And oh. Ah. This is one thing I forgot to add back. When we go ahead and unstake it, it goes ahead and adds it as wrapped memo. So you might need to go ahead up to the swap tab, uh, or you can just use Trader Joe actually. Go to trade and go from wrapped AVAX to normal AVAX and unwrap. Uh, oh. They want to switch networks? Nope. Go ahead and click confirm. Wait for that to go through. Transaction confirmed. And the AVAX is back in our wallet. Uh, of course, you probably won't do it that quickly um, because well, you probably won't do it that quickly. Um, when you go ahead and do it, uh, make sure you go ahead and repay the full amount uh, because that's going to go ahead and make sure you remove all of your uh, borrowed liquidity and thus get all of your value back. Currently, I haven't removed all of it. So as you can see, my collateral price uh, liquidation has dropped by a lot. That's fine. I've got more MIM in another wallet that I'm going to go ahead and send over, but make sure my bet would be pay off all of it, take all of it and do it that way. Makes things easier. But that's how you go ahead and actually acquire the MIM to ultimately, I would say most people are going to use this on Trader Joe uh, to go ahead and earn these rewards because this is where you can trade it for new tokens and lend it to earn an APY on it. That's what I think most people are going to go ahead and do uh, with this protocol. Maybe not. You do what you want to do with these MIM rewards. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is just a general overview of how you borrow MIM for beginners. Um, if you want more content or want any more advice on this, put it down below in the comments and I will go ahead and answer your question. Uh, but if you enjoyed, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.